Hi everyone, welcome back for day seven of the Spring to Life 30 Day Springtime Yoga Journey. I'm Ashley and today's yoga class theme is create, as in create your own reality. In this yoga practice, we are going to be working with some postures to help balance the sacral chakra, which is the creative center in the body. So if you can imagine something, then that something is possible. So we can start by finding ways to be creative in our practice, and then that could potentially bleed into our lives. So maybe in our workspace or just in our creative space in general. And then maybe finally you get like this inspiration that you've been needing to start something or to continue something. And by continuously creating and always having something you're working on and putting out into the world, this actually helps you add more meaning to your life. And it also helps the greater collective because you are sharing those gifts with the world. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Feel free to close your eyes or gaze at a point out in front of you. Take a moment here just to connect with yourself, maybe that creative part of you. And getting creative in your practice can look like, you know, using props where you maybe wouldn't normally use them or coming up with your own variation of different postures allowing yourself the freedom to move past what you are being told or asked to do in your practice and doing what feels best for you. Take a full breath in. Exhale completely. Gently open your eyes. Let's go ahead and begin on our bellies for Shalabhasana. On your belly, take your arms alongside your torso, straighten them, point your palms up, and then pull your shoulders back. Look straight down, but press the back of your skull toward the ceiling. Now lift your chin slightly and look forward. Push your hands and feet down, hands down so much your shoulders can move back, feet down so your knees can move back. Now push your hips down, lift your torso up a little higher, Almost lift your arms, almost lift your legs so you're charging them up. Now do lift your arms and legs. Breathe. Push down through your pubic bone as you lift everything else away from the floor. Rest. Feel free to take your head to your hands. Look forward, interlace your fingers behind your back. Similar, just a little different with the hands. Pull your shoulders back, extend your arms towards straight, lift your knuckles away from your hips. Push your hips down, lift your torso, head your feet. Squeeze your inner thighs toward each other as you root down through your pubic bone and hip bones. Lift the base of your skull away from your spine as you lift your chin. Rest, maybe take the other side of your face or your forehead to your hands. Downward facing dog, push up. Straighten your legs or maybe keep your knees slightly bent, whatever feels good for you. And feel free to bring as little or as much movement into your down dog. Maybe walk your dog for the dog jog, bending one knee, straightening the other. Maybe allow some hip swaying side to side. Just let yourself get into a little bit of a flow if you desire. Just allow your movements to sync up with your breath. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted and lift your torso, lift your arms, stretch up. Lunging warrior one. Pull your ribs back, 
tailbone forward, push through your feet, lift your back thigh. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Take your right hand forward into the right of your right foot. Feel free to have your left hand on your hip or keep your arm up. Gaze at a steady point and just maybe hop right into it in one or many steps. Lift your left leg, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, charge up your legs. Breathe here, push out through your tailbone. And from here, we're gonna go into a squat. Take your left hand to the floor, left foot hip distance from right foot or a little wider, even if it comes off your mat. And then drop your hips to the floor, root down through your sitting bones, lengthen through the top of your head, crawl yourself in a little deeper, and then lean back, grow taller, set deeper. Squeeze knees into arms, Push shoulders back into legs. Okay, we're gonna come out the way we got in. Lean into your right foot, right hand. Take left hand to hip. Lift your left leg slowly up and back. It's a little hard, a little complicated. Reach your left arm up. And then step back, warrior one. Reach your torso. Arms up. All right. Lower your hands. Come into downward dog. Step your left foot forward between your hands. Back heel vertical. Lift your torso. Reach your arms up. Allow your hips to sit a little deeper. Push through your back leg. Reach through your fingertips. Don't hold your breath. Half moon, take your left hand forward and to your left. Either right hand to right hip or right arm straight up the whole time. Lean into it, pick up your right leg parallel to the floor, kick your legs longer, reach your arms longer. Maybe gaze up toward the fingertips or the ceiling. And squat. To your right, feet hip distance or outer hip distance. Take your fingers down to help you lower down. And then maybe crawl your way in a little deeper between your legs. Squeeze your knees in, lean your weight back into your heels. Lift length through your torso, top of head. Come out the way you got in. Lean into your left foot, left hand. And then lift your right leg up and back. Push your legs longer, arms longer. Reach back, warrior one. Lift your torso, lift your arms, stretch up. Downward facing dog. Step to the middle of your mat, and then take your hands to meet your feet. And then turn on your mat so you're facing the long edge. Bend your knees, place your palms flat, keep your arms straight, and then maybe hop your feet wide. Try to keep your feet as light as you can so it's like you're going into a handstand, but you're not. Hop, feet wide. Prasarda Padottanasana. Take toes in a little bit more na uh, narrow than your heels. And then take your hands back, bend your elbows, Reach heart first, head last, toward the floor. Start to push evenly through your inner and outer feet, and then broaden your inner thighs away from each other so your sitting bones broaden apart. Then lean more weight forward into your big toe mounds so your sitting bones are more toward the ceiling rather than behind your heels. Keep shoulders away from ears, and on to your back. Lengthen your spine, 
Place hands on hips, shoulders back, stand up. I call this one Kali Pose. Goddess, turn your toes out. Take your arms wide, elbows wide, elbows back, and down, lift through your sternum. Inhale here. Exhale, stick out your tongue, go <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> straight arms, straight legs, fingertips in front of your sternum, bend your knees, step or jump feet together, arms by your side, and then have a seat on your mat. Fire logs pose. You have the option to either take your shins stacked, so take one shin on top of the other shin, or take the top shin in front of the bottom shin, that way your knees are stacked. Make sure you push through your big toe edges of your feet, lift and lower your legs, make sure that your sitting bones are even, and then fold to whatever capacity feels best for you. You can always use a prop like a bolster or a blanket under your torso for easier rounding. Maybe even a block under your head to relax your neck. Just allow yourself to breathe into the places that feel tighter or more limited. Next inhale, slowly come back up. Switch sides so your other leg is on top or in front. And make sure your sitting bones are even. Push through your big toes, push through your outer feet. And then do or don't fold forward to whatever capacity. Slowly lift yourself back up. Take your feet together, your knees wide for Baddha Konasana. Scoot your hips either forward or back, whatever feels better. Feel free to keep your big toe edges touching or separate your big toes so your feet open up like a book, but keep pressing through your pinky edges into each other. You can either lean back on your hands, focus on lifting your lower back in and up, or fold heart first, head last, Toward your legs. Again, maybe folding over a bolster or folding all the way down, taking your whole torso to the floor, maybe heart to feet, face to the floor, or wherever you feel best. Slowly come back up. Take your knees with your hands to lift your legs up and then use your hands under your knees to take your legs wide. Upavishta Konasana. You can again do the same thing as the last one, either lean back, lift your lower back in and up, or fold forward. Keep your toes and kneecaps pointing toward the ceiling. Again, it's the same thing. You can fold over a bolster, come all the way to the floor. You can even do fingers to toes and then heart to the floor. With your hands on the floor, slowly lengthen your spine, sit up. Grab onto your knees with your hands, and then turn to face the short edge again. Take your feet, 
so that they're hip distance. Walk your hands back a little bit. Bend your elbows, shoulders back, lift up through your sternum, straighten your arms. Push your hands and feet down to lift your hips. Reverse table. Push more through your pubic bone toward the ceiling. Keep your head in line with your spine. Lower down. Take your legs forward. Paschimottanasana, fold. Feel free to place something, maybe your arms or a blanket under your legs. Maybe go all the way flat to the floor, flat toward your legs. Feel free to lengthen and fold as many times as you need to get the most out of your pose. On your next inhale, lengthen your spine. Slowly sit up. Take a comfortable seat. Feel free to sit up on a meditation cushion or pillow or bolster blanket block. Seated meditation. It'll be silent, but if you have trouble finding something to focus your mind on, you could imagine a ball of glowing orange light, orange being the color of the sacral chakra. And just focus your attention as best as you can. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, let it out with a sigh. And gently open your eyes. Thank you all so much for joining me for day seven. I'll see you tomorrow for day eight. Have a wonderful rest of your day.